welcome to my channel starstruck uh, if you haven't subscribed yet uh, I would do request you to please subscribe to my channel uh, share with your friends and do leave comments on uh, on my videos uh, and anybody who's you know uh, interested in astronomy or astrophotography I've just started this channel and uh, I'll be sharing all my equipments which I bought uh, to do the astrophotography if you haven't uh, checked my previous video I, I did a previous video on Celestron Power Seeker 114 EQ uh, which is a Newtonian telescope uh, good for the visual astronomy pretty cheap in budget uh, affordable uh, let's get started I've got a, a finder scope today and I'm, I'll be unboxing this particular product so this is a SP Boney SP106 So let's put this together. While we're doing this, uh, I'll just uh, you know mention some of the the key features uh, of this uh, finder scope and why do we use uh, a guide scope, a finder scope or a guide? Sorry, I'm always saying <laughs> finder scope. It's a guide scope. So what does what does this equipment do? Uh, it's a very good equipment, a very initial, uh, you know, essential, uh, important in nature. When you're doing astrophotography using a equatorial mount, a computerized equatorial mount, so you fit a camera inside this one, and it will then send the signals. Uh, whatever stars this scope, this guide scope is looking at, it it sends it to your uh, to your application which is running on your on your laptop on your computer, which will help you to then see which star you want to track. As soon as these stars drift across the sky this particular thing this guide scope which is looking at the at the star it will and the camera attached to it the camera will sense that the star is moving from point a to point b and how much drift it is it is having that information goes to the computer to the mount uh, not to the computer uh, straight away it goes to the mount and the mount then uh, you know adjusts the drift and the slew uh, to track your particular target efficiently so that you can have crisp and you know nice amazing photographs that's that's what it's it's used for uh, we'll put it together okay so let's uh, put these three rings on the dovetail uh, so we've got these two and screws and key dovetail store the rings how to put it uh, you know I, I, I tried figuring out like putting it this way but it's not the actual way so you put this over here like that match it with the holes and that's how you put the thing together so I'm going to looks balanced perfect now let's put the two of the thumb screws one is over here one is over here and there are two more screws which they have provided I'm not sure where will that go 
I don't see any space to put the other two screws so I'm talking about these three screws so I'm not sure where will that fit in I don't see any, any other space where I can fit those things the only one which we have over here is this one, the draw tube and you can tighten up that part and that's the helical focuser All right, let's uh, let's mount this thing on the on the telescope and see how does it looks like. So put these things away. I'll keep this away and quickly grab my telescope. All right, so I've got this SV Boni SV48 uh, telescope, which I'm using for astrophotography. That's a small 90 mm telescope. I'll not talk much about this telescope at the moment, but if you can see, uh, that's how it looks like. And I'm using a red dot finder. And I'll just unscrew this one. And I've attached my DSLR. It's a 1300D, which I'm using for astrophotography. So I'm just going to remove this and put the finder scope on it. So. It's nice and sturdy, I can say. I just need to tighten the screw and that should give me enough space. Yeah, that's really nice. It looks beautiful. It looks, now it looks like a ready uh, deal for the entry level of astrophotography. Okay. Isn't that good? <laughs> really looks amazing. Pretty excited for a clear sky. Maybe this Saturday. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for my camera to come. So I can attach that. Do the auto tracking, auto guiding and uh, start doing some astrophotography. Uh, well, that, that's all I have for you guys uh, with this SV Boni SV106 product, uh, which we looked at today. So thanks again, all of you, uh, for joining me. Uh, as I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And until then, see you next time. Clear skies.